Okay, let's um, let's do some sanitary connections. I'm gonna connect up the laboratory. There's another. There's a floor drain here. Two more laboratories and three water closets, and we are going to run the waste down into this area to connect here. Okay, so let's get started. And let's look at a section view. I'm going to rotate this section counterclockwise 90 degrees so that we can look at how this pipe is going to run in the wall. Let's go to the section view and make sure everything is non sloping at this point. So we have one and a half inches, slope is off. And we have cast iron. I'm just gonna use the cast iron here. And go over and then down below the floor so that we can connect to our other fixtures. I'm gonna change this one and a half inch, let's say to a two inch. Okay. And of course we're gonna need a P-trap here coming off of the laboratory. I'm gonna move the tailpiece up. It cannot, this tailpiece can't be 24 inches. Okay, so I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Okay, now let's slope our pipe, but first let's go to the floor plan. Okay, and make sure that everything is, is checked, and we're going to slope at an eighth of an inch. And let's go down. And our angle should be 135. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is align our pipe so that it's in this plumbing wall or plumbing chase. I'm going to draw a detail, detail line that's on the hotkey is DL. So now let's, let's align or extend this pipe to that line or construction line or if you want to call it that and continuing down at an eighth of an inch two inches eighth of an inch down so that we are in our plumbing chase now I'm gonna need to increase it to four inches I'm gonna pick up this floor drain which is gonna be a three inch drain and these three water closets I know are going to be four inches. So let's change the diameter to four inches here. Keep our slope going down and continue to about right there. Okay. So let's bring our section down so that we can look north. Let's rotate. Okay. I want to connect our floor drain next. Okay. Now let's put it about right there so we can see what's going on in the section. Okay. So let's bring our three inch waist down. Let's check. Going clockwise. Okay. It's a three inch diameter. The slope is going to be off at this point. Okay. So we go here and over to about right there. Let's leave it there. And what we're going to need for floor drain is a P-trap. Okay. I'm going to bring this guy up and kind of eyeball, eyeball it so that we can connect into our main drain so if it doesn't connect i know i can nudge it up or nudge it down but let's give it a try see what happens and extend our pipe but first let's make sure that we have the right fitting okay so i'm going to click click our pipe and edit that piece that type and go to our routing preferences so the junction is going to be a wire combination that looks good 
So let's cancel, cancel, and go back to our floor plan and extend. Let's see if we can. Okay, great. Now let's move down south so that we can connect one of our three water closets going back to the section view. Okay, so it looks like we are low enough where we can connect the water closet. And I think that I can align my pipe here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and we can look for a connection which is going to be that connection. Okay. Let's look out. Let's see how that looks on our 3D plan. Okay. So we got a Y combination fitting going back to the floor plan. Let's connect the other two water closets going to our section view so that we can align coming from our water closet to our main pipe again and slowly and connect there yeah okay floor plan again get our section view and go here same thing okay and we can slowly get into our pipe okay now let's see what's going on here okay so that looks good going back to the floor plan what we're gonna need to do is connect the two lavatories in this area because of the connection. I think that that might be a little tight fitting if I go between the floor drain and this water closet or these two water closets where it would be connected between in between this water closet and that water closet and this water closet and that one so I'm gonna connect it here so let's look at a section view again of a laboratory and it's over here so again we're gonna do the same thing and going clockwise we check our perimeter our parameters one and a half inch the slope is off we got cast iron, we go here and go to the back to the wall and down under the floor, okay? Let's change our pipe from a one and a half inch to a two inch. And again, making sure that we get a P-trap in this area so that this tailpiece is not 24 inches. I'm going to move it up just a little bit, okay? And going back, I'm going to grab this 2-inch pipe and back to the floor plan, going clockwise, making sure that we are checking our parameters and we are going to slope at an eighth of an inch. And the pipe types is cast iron. So we connect here and down because we're going to connect our second laboratory into it but for now I'm going to continue the slope here and go over to the main pipe which is about right there okay now let's go back and get the second laboratory and connect into it and looking at our section view okay so again, let's do another check. One and a half inches, the slope is off. We come down, go back into our wall, and down to our two inch pipe. And I'm gonna change the pipe coming off of the water, the lavatory to a two inch and making sure we add a p-trap and again let's just move this guy up some okay looks like that this might be a line okay 
Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we are over here. Okay, so our combination is working. Looks like we need a clean out here and here. Okay, because it's a 90 degree turn. Okay, so I'm going to go to the floor plan and rotate our section view counterclockwise so that we are looking west. Okay, that's 90. Go back and let's look at that section. Okay, so here is going to be a clean out and our slope going from right to left is going down so going from left to right I'm going to slope up okay just a little bit right there and cap it here okay now let's go back to the floor plan and this might be a wall clean out so wherever however that's gonna look and here might be a, a floor clean out or it could be walk if I can select it there okay and again let's select and go up for our slope okay to about right there cap let's cap here okay okay and one last uh, connection we need to make is the two inch that will connect into this four inch. So bringing our section view over and rotating it clockwise, 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm typing in 90. Let's take a look at that section. So we go here, let's go over. It looks like we're gonna need to come down a little bit. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna use my arrow keys and go down 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 and kind of eyeball it okay so we our element needs to be disconnected i'm not going to do that i think that i may need to to choose more of my pipe so that it will move as one unit or you move as a unit okay let's try this let's try it again let's see what happens okay so so if I can eyeball that looks about right go back to the floor plan and see if we can make a connection if we extend the two inch into the four inch okay here here yeah okay and the last thing what we need to do is just making sure everything is working is to look at our fixture units and make sure everything is populating okay so we have fixture units okay good 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 so the fixture units are pop populating we got 23 fixture units which is what we want and it looks like everything is connected so um i think that the next thing we need to do is do the venting but I'm going to leave this alone for now and I will talk to you guys later.